Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank all of you for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. Britain's longest reigning monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, passed away on September 8th at the age of 96. Her demise opened up a Pandora's box of nuances the royal family witnessed in the run-up to the final years of the Queen that involved Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle down to senior royals in 2020. And one such revelation... Kay Nicole, author of the new book titled The New Royals, Queen Elizabeth's Legacy and the Future of the Crown, claimed that both Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had rejected the Queen's invitation to visit her at Balmoral Castle, even twice. Despite tensions following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex departure, the late monarch maintained a close relationship with her grandson and his young family. According to Katie Nicole, author of The New Royals, the Queen wanted to keep the Sussexes connected to the royal family and claimed Her Majesty enjoyed video calls with Harry, Meghan, and their two children, three-year-old Archie Harrison and one-year-old little bit Diana. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stepped down from their senior roles within the royal family and relocated to North America in early 2020. The couple only returned to the UK three times since their exit, visiting briefly in April before attending the Platinum Jubilee celebrations and later the state funeral Queen Elizabeth II. Despite tensions following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex departure, the late monarch reportedly maintained a close relationship with her grandson and the young family. However, the author, who was a guest on last week's episode of To Die For podcast, noted that the Queen was hurt by the Sussexes at some points. Speaking with Kinsley Schofield, the host of the Weekly Royal podcast, Miss Nicole said it's important to stress that there were times when she, Queen Elizabeth, felt quite laid down by Harry and Meghan and quite disappointed by them. She would always host this lovely weekend at the end of August, a big sleepover for her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. She would always make a point of inviting Harry and Meghan, but in the last couple of summers, they didn't go. She added things like that, not being together at Christmas, not being together at Balmoral, or the summer when the Queen really wanted to bring the family together. I think that hurt her. Harry and Meghan are understood to have not spent Christmas with the royal family since 2019. When the Sussexes decided to spend the festive season in Canada with the Duchess mother, Doria Ragnall, the following month, in January 2020, the Duke and Duchess announced their decision to step back from royal duties and move across the pond. Since then, Harry and Meghan have been in the U.S. at Christmas. Similarly, the couple reportedly declined the royal's invitation to spend summer in Balmoral, the family's estate in Scotland. According to the sources who spoke to the Daily Mirror, the Sussexes were welcome to stay with the then Prince Charles this summer. He hasn't wavered despite the attacks, which seem to be coming with increased vigor, one source added. The Prince of Wales reiterated his invitation for Harry and Meghan, the whole family, if they wish to come with him this summer, while he is at the home on Balmoral Estate. He thought it might be a good opportunity for everyone to take stock and relax, but the invitation was declined. These reports came ahead of Harry and Meghan's visit to Europe, during which they worked with charities in the UK and traveled to Germany for the Invictus Games event. At that time, it was understood the couple had no plans to visit the members of the royal family, but the death of Queen Elizabeth and the Sussexes extended their stay and joined the UK-based royals in the mourning of the loss of their matriarch and monarch. Harry immediately traveled to Balmoral Castle, where his grandmother passed, and arrived hours after the royal family confirmed the Queen's death to the public. He reunited with his family, namely his father and older brother, but returned to England the first thing in the morning. His brief trip marked the first time he had visited the Scottish estate since his royal exit. According to Miss Nicole, the prince declined his grandmother's invitation to spend time at Balmoral, 2019, saying that the Duke and Duchess were dissing themselves months before they announced their departure. In her new book, she wrote, They were raised eyebrows when Harry and Meghan declined an invite from the Queen to spend a long weekend at Balmoral in the summer of 2019, when she traditionally hosts a weekend for her grandchildren and a special sleepover for her great-grandchildren, preferring to take Archie to Ibiza and the south of France. Mr. Cole added, playing happy families at Balmoral didn't really fit their narrative. I was told by a source close to the Sussexes. Spanish outlets reported at the time the royal couple had been spotted on the Bellic Island for six days in August. It was understood that they had gone on the getaway to celebrate the Dutch's 38th birthday, which had fallen two days before they fell, flew out on August 4th. While the Queen was disappointed by Meghan and Harry's distance from the royal family, she still wanted to keep the family together adding to Miss Nicole, who claimed Her Majesty's instinct was to protect Harry. 
So what do you guys think about this news? Do you think that Harry and Meghan regret their decision of now, or do they think they seriously don't care about anything? What are they thinking? Write it down in the comment section. Let me know. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.